My name is Terrence White, and I am queued up to learn. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Queued Up. So thanks so much for joining us. Today, I am joined by the amazing Terrence White. How are you, Terrence? I am great. How are you doing today, Sarah? Oh, doing wonderful. Living the dream at the lovely Starbucks. <laughs> so, uh, always. Hey, yeah. Starbucks is a beautiful thing. Oh, it sure enough is. I have my right. uh, caramel macchiato right here. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. All right. So you know the way that this works. So I'm going to have three questions for you. So the first question yeah. is... What I am most excited about education is the fact, is the technology that's available. We now have technology that makes us unstoppable. And we can, because I know when I was in, when I started teaching seven years ago, I wanted to do so many things with technology, but the resources weren't quite there yet because we weren't one-to-one. -one. And again, the technology wasn't as strong. Now with us being one-to-one, -one, most school districts are one-to-one, and how easy access and how, and how much the technology has improved, we can now have the information at the tip of, our, tip of our fingers, literally with our smartphones. And we can do things like this. We can talk with other educators from around the world. I love that because I'm a social media junkie. So now I'm basically taking my social media obsession and I'm using it for good in education. So I love the fact that we can connect with each other so easily now and talk with other people from around the world because that makes us better educators. Yeah, definitely. I totally feel you yeah. on that. So uh, yeah, we've come a long way in a little bit of time. So absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, so the next question is... I really want to do multiple keynotes. I am doing my first keynote in six days. And I really want to do more. I want to travel different parts of the country and do keynotes and to meet different educators from around the country. And I can't wait to ISTE because ISTE is in my backyard this year. And I am hoping I get an opportunity to do a spotlight session where I get to speak there. And if not, that's okay. Um, I still get an opportunity to go to ISTE and meet some amazing educators and catch up with old friends. Because it's, I am, that's what I'm really much looking forward to and just growing and just keep growing as an educator. And just because I'm a lifelong learner and just keep learning and keep adding on to it. And I hope I get an opportunity with that. I hope I get an opportunity to get a job in technology specialist because I love technology and I want to be able to help other teachers and students utilize the technology that's there to enhance their learning and to get us ready for the 21st century skills that are in the class that are available to us. So those are all on my bucket list this year. Absolutely, so it's gonna be a great, great year for you. So uh, yeah, definitely awesome. looking forward, yeah, looking forward to hearing about all the great things that, that happened for you in 2018. So awesomeness, awesomeness. So the last question is. Not to ever give up on a student. And the reason I say that is because we are so, we are all guilty of this. We've all had a student that's been very frustrating and have really given us problems. We want to make sure that we're not giving up because with my personal, I was that bottom 20%. I was that student who, if you looked at my grades in high school, you would have thought there was no way that students are going to be healthy. So my advice to teachers and educators is keep planting seeds because as I'm gonna get science, get nerdy here for a little bit. When you plant seeds, not all of them are gonna grow. The hope is that some of them will grow and sprout into a beautiful, beautiful flower um, because sometimes they might not sprout that year and that's okay. But if you keep pushing and keep really stressing the positivity to that child, you hope that eventually the seeds that you plant are going to grow later in life. So my advice to teachers is don't give up on a child because that child could, has the ability to do great things. I love that, definitely. And all of our kids, you know, they have the potential to bloom into just something amazing. So definitely planting those seeds, watering them, love it. So, 
Yeah. So thank you so much, Terrence, for your insight today. Um, really, really love talking with you. And thank you to everyone who is watching. And uh, definitely we'll catch y'all on the flip side. Absolutely. I hope to meet you all at a conference. Before I stop the recording, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you wanted to add? Um, not that I can think of. I'll just the only thing I would say is there are some great kids out there. Yeah. Yeah. There are some great educators out there. And just keep helping those students do great things. That's all.